Hey, hello everyone. Uh, so in this session we are going to talk about system design. So let me change the color. Yeah, system design. So this, as we know, is a very, very important topic usually covered in software development life cycle. What exactly do we understand by this term system design well as you can see the words right it essentially means designing a system and what is a system it could be an application right it could be an application whether it be a web application or a mobile application right so it is actually designing of a system right so that is the study of system design and what do we exactly mean by designing of a system so what exactly do we understand by when we say that we design a system so it means that there is a process okay there is a process process as in like defined steps defined steps of process of defining different elements what what are we doing we are understanding designing a system design means process of defining different elements of the system right and when we say elements different elements what can be different elements what can be different parts of the system the different parts of the system can be its architecture right it can be the different components it can be the different modules that system is built on the module in say in a shop shopping site can be the product list the shopping cart the payment gateways the delivery system right all those are different modules that makes up a shopping site isn't it so how do we define all these different elements and in turn wh when we are defining these different elements like the arch its architecture the different components we we should break it down into different smaller components and modules so that it is easy to work on a problem statement right if we don't divide it into small things how we will make it we cannot just make everything together we have to make it in small parts we have to divide the work in different teams right that is why system design is important and we also have to ensure that all these different elements should be able to communicate well right should be able to communicate well amongst all these right and why do we need that because if they are not communicating how we will be able to share the data right how the data will flow so why we are designing this system why we are ensuring that they can communicate we are doing so we are doing so so that it effectively effectively data will flow through the 
system right that is the reason if the data is not flowing how you will ultimately get the product delivered to your residence address or office address when you are placing order in a shopping site right so the data has to flow properly isn't it this data flow has to happen data flow has to happen right and why are we designing a system why are we defining the process around different elements to communicate why are we trying to ensure that the effective data flow will happen why all this is happening why all this is happening this is happening in order to meet business requirements isn't it this is all being done to meet business requirements to build a software to build an application right it is all around the business requirement that we had that we started working on designing the system which is like defining different elements of the system architecture component modules so that they can communicate and the data can flow effectively throughout the system right so this entire process of system design is very much essential for a not only a student but even a working professional to understand in order for them to give results as per the business requirement because if there is no business requirement of a shopping site an online shopping site then people could have continued to go to brick and mortar shop wo ek char diwar wale dukan mein hi ja kar ke saman kharidte right tab to fir inki zarurat hi nahi padti aise online software ki application ki to sara kuch ye business requirement jo hame हमारी सीनियर मैनेजमेंट टीम कहती है कि हमें एक ऐसा प्रोडक्ट चाहिए जिससे हम ऑनलाइन एल का भी रसीद पे कर दें और ये कर दें कि शॉपिंग कर लें हमारा ऑनलाइन लर्निंग सिस्टम बन जाए जैसे आई जेड अकेडमी है जहाँ से अभी आप ये कोर्स कर रहे हैं राइट तो ये सब रिक्वायरमेंट्स के बेसिस पे आप ये डिज़ाइन फिर करना शुरू करते हैं राइट right? तो आपको रिक्वायरमेंट्स सुनने होंगे उसके हिसाब से आपको डिफरेंट कॉम्पोनेंट्स मॉड्यूल्स बनाने होंगे उनमें कैसे कम्युनिकेशन होगा डेटा कैसे फ्लो करेगा इसी पे हम लोग पूरा डिस्कशन करेंगे इस ट्रेनिंग uh, में जो सिस्टम डिज़ाइन के अराउंड है एंड दैट विल हेल्प यू इफेक्टिवली आंसर क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो इन दी इंटरव्यू राइट सो ऑल द बेस्ट एंड keep watching all the videos if you have any doubts rewind the video listen to it again you can use internet to even understand few terminologies if you are not able to understand it here in this video okay so don't stop and don't only think that watching this video is enough take notes also so continue your journey in learning and mastering system design all the best see you in the next session